Hey, hey. So this is going to be a wash routine and a wash and go. So the shampoo and conditioner that I'm going to be using is the Shea Moisture Superfruit Complex 10 in 1 Renewal Shampoo and Conditioner. And yeah, so it's the Superfruit line and I really like this line for shampoo and conditioner um, and I also love the deep conditioner. The deep conditioner is pretty bomb. Oh, I should have used it today too. But anyway, so I'm going to shampoo twice and once I rinse all this shampoo out, this is just the first round. Look how much a freaking product comes out of my hair. Like, look in the water. Like, look. My girl. That's nasty. But I'm going to shampoo again, and you're going to see a lot more suds. Because, you know, the, the dirtier your hair is, the less suds you'll get. But after I shampoo, then I'm going to follow up with the matching conditioner. And then I'm going to comb that through with the shower comb. And then I'm going to rinse, you know, do my shower, actually. And then at the end of my shower, I'm going to rinse out the conditioner. So now onto the conditioning, I use a lot of conditioning because I need that slip, you know what I'm saying? So after I get like my 100 pumps, I'm just gonna spread it through my hair. You know what I'm saying? And then I, I really like doing this because like, like I sometimes deep conditioning in the shower because you know you get that steam. Well, I take super hot showers, so if you take cold showers, then you ain't gonna get that. But I take super hot showers, so I get all that steam going, and I just feel like it just sucks more, like, like literally penetrates my hair. So, that sentence was just really something. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna, like, try to finger comb, and then, as you can see, here go my shower comb. I had this comb forever. I got it from Walmart. I think it was, like, $5. Um, I think they redid them, though, because every single time I go, they look different. Like, they're not made from the same material, so I don't know. But it's from Conair. But, yeah, so I just go ahead and come through, you know, take my time. It looks like I'm being rough. I'm not. It's just, you know, sped up. But after I comb this out, I'm going to leave it in until the end of my shower. So onto the styling part, so I'm using the Alec Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I find that when I use like a lot more than I normally use, I like it better. So I use like, well as you can see, a lot. It still smells like um, pine saw, but whatever. So I use that and liberally, and then I like to like put it all throughout, and then I follow up with the Mild Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. I think it's actually a detangler. Well, it says it's a detangler. It works as a detangler, so yeah, I guess it right. And then after that, I'm gonna use the Miel Organics Moisturizing Avocado Hair Milk. I love this stuff. I will forever keep buying this stuff. It's expensive as hell, but it works pretty bomb, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm using my dimming brush. I never really use a dimming brush. I never really brush my hair after I've already tangled it, but I wanted to try something new just to like smooth the product through. Um, 
Honestly, I don't see a difference in my hair, to be honest. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep using it. Maybe not. But, so I use that to smooth all the products through because I sometimes find that if I don't do this, like, some of my curls are, like, kind of bunched up because there's, like, hairs, like, shattered hairs trapped in it. So it's, like, not really a curl. You hear what I'm saying? So it kind of just look busted. But anyway, after I brush all that through I shake my head and then I get super dizzy and then after this I'm going to follow up with the curling tester by Miss Jessie's I always get confused between Miss Jessie's and Aunt Jessie's my bad but it's Miss Jessie's so I just put all this throughout my hair and shake like crazy um I also put a lot more after I turn the camera off um just why not you know I just wanted to be extra so I put in a whole bunch more and so after this, I start to diffuse, which I almost dropped. Um, and after I diffuse for about like a good five minutes, then I take the other attachment, the concentrator nozzle, just to stretch out my hair a little bit because I don't really like my hair to be shrunken. Like honestly, my perfect wash and go is when I don't use the gel and, oh sorry, and I pick my hair while I'm using the concentrator nozzle at my roots so it stretches my roots out. And my hair is like super big and that's just so cute but today i didn't do that because i just wanted more curls you know more definition as possible Okay, so I have different like curls throughout my whole head and as you can see there's like a gap where there was like tight curls. So all you gotta do is pull it and then stretch it out. This is what I normally do on my um, wash and goes, but all over so my hair is like 10 times bigger. As you can see I stretched a little bit too much, but all you gotta do is just push it back down. But yeah, that's the trick if you have like an area where your curls are tighter and it's like shorter, you just like pull it down a little bit and run the concentrator over it and it stretches it out and you it's good to go. And so now I'm adding this um, Cream of Nature Exotic Shine and Humidity Spray. Um, I love this stuff. It just smells really good. And it makes your hair super shiny. And now I'm going back in with the Mountain Moisture, leaving on the sides of my hair so I can get ready to brush them down. Because your hair don't look cute if your sides is just a hot mess. You know what I'm saying? You can have all these bomb curls and then the sides in the back of your head just look like you just woke up. That ain't hot. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, after I do that, then I am done. I'm just going to play with it for a little bit, you know, to get it how I like it. And I'm done. So make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. And I'll holla at y'all later.